Okay, and we'll go back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with uh, one of my co-hosts on this uh, crazy adventure. Uh, my good old friend, Philip. Sub beast mode. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you, just, you just big chilling. You changed your profile picture again, man. Yeah, it, it, this one's going to stay for a while, though. Don't worry. I don't even know what it's from. <laughs> Blue Archive. Oh, gotcha. Is it yeah, good? it's like... I mean, you could call me a secondary. You can call me a secondary for this, but I do not play the game. You know what? I played the Roblox. <laughs> Third person shooter. You played the Roblox, but not the actual game? I played the Roblox third person shooter because I refused to let a gotcha that lets you. It's, it's a gotcha game that you just play itself basically I'm not, I'm not doing that i'm not into that so you know i try the third person shooter i'm like damn this this is like a really good band-aid fix for the issue that we're having yeah uh, and yeah, i come to find out you know i love koharu in the game and then i'm like wow she's literally me in real life so you know what i i, I took that i took that and i ran with it nice if you can hear dogs barking i'm very sorry it's fine. If you can also hear dogs barking. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> mean, it's a mutually shared problem. Yeah. I love it. Uh, I do have to say, uh, I, I do have a, a mutual that does play Blue Archive. I'm going to say that to him later. I'm <laughs> like, hey, I, I got the Blue Archive. I'm playing it through Roblox and see what it's like. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's Kavoto's Battlegrounds. Shout out to Kavoto's Battlegrounds on Roblox. Uh, the... Look, I... I I played Roblox when I was like eight or nine at my cousin's place mm -hmm. on the website. I was in like first, maybe second grade. Yeah. I never thought I'd be not only playing it, let alone playing it, you know, hearing about it from other people, you know, other kids are into it, you know, I, I'll, I'll see children at my at where I work them them getting Roblox gift cards right now and then yeah it's just insane to me that this game has kind of just stood the test of time <laughs> I, tr I tried getting into Roblox it was I didn't really like it it it's not fun for anyone who's like over the age of 14 oh. but <laughs> I, I, I I mean, there's some fun to be had, but it, there's just not much substance to it, right? So yeah, I, I did. I did play a horror thing on there, and it went okay until like mm -hmm. some kind of fucking weird house with mannequins, and like okay, so. you had to like rob okay. the house and whatnot, and weird shit would happen. You'd find out like some more of the story, and I went to go pick up like these coins, and a mannequin got thrown right in the view, and it scared the shit out of me. So like threw the mouse across the screen, and then I couldn't move my, my, my head the, like, anymore. It was, like, stuck. <laughs> so I was, like, permanently, like, looking up at, like, the wall and, like, couldn't look around in my surround. So... so I broke it. Safe, safe to say, safe to say, you had a great time. Yeah, I, I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do horror, but I will play Lethal Company all the way. Right, right. <laughs> but, uh... It I know there was some games like that when I first played Roblox. I think it's like Sur Survive the Disasters or something like that. Yeah. One of the disasters is a giant Elmo or some bullshit. The other is a bunch of SpongeBob SquarePants spawning outside of the pineapple. It's spawning inside the pineapple house, right? And just they're, they're just terrorizing everyone. That's that's all I remember. That's nice. all I remember. But uh, I, I guess speaking of horror, I guess we're reading more of a, a Danganronpa fanfiction. I don't think it's classified as horror. It's like a mystery thing that just has... It's, it's mystery with psychological horror elements. Yeah, and dead, dead people. It, 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 mixes, it mixes The Shining with Ace Attorney. Let's go. Oh, my way. favorite. <laughs> yeah, yes. But, uh, where we last left off, uh, Sayaka was being real fucking jealous of us, and we were, like, the nicest person, 
uh, the nicest person, as in Burger McNugget, with their cheddar yellow hair, <laughs> ketchup red eyes. And then she got the title, and then she's still, like, jealous, but then she's also like, wait a minute, maybe I'm not jealous, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm not jealous. Maybe I am jealous, but maybe I'm jealous because I don't have her. Yeah. Oh, shit! Maybe that is it! I mean, I could see it coming from a mile away. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. That's, that's perfect. <laughs> that's the ending. <laughs> Alright, we're uh, on chapter That's eight. what my money's on. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I have a shit ton of coins in here. I can flip one of these. Holy shit, we've actually got a coin this time and it's not going to be a barcode as tails. Yeah, I'm not going to just flip my bag and be like, do you want to be the squirtle side or the, the back side? <laughs> Alright. Uh, do you want to be heads or tails? Hmm. What's the coin? What coin is it? It's a quarter. Specifically, hmm. oh shit, what year is this? 2022. Wow, we... Uh, I'll take Tails, why not? Alright. <laughs> is that Tails? Yeah, it is. I forget that they change the, the quarter sometimes. I was like, that's yeah. not a fucking eagle. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. Yeah, what is it like, got a state on it? Uh, let me see. Let me turn on the light, because it's dark as shit in this room. United States of America. Maya Angelou. And oh, Maya like Angelou. That's yeah. like a, he's some civil rights poet. <laughs> gotcha. Know. I mean, it looks cool. Some of these are pretty cool to collect. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Let me see my. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just making. I'm just making sure I didn't just speak out my ass. Yes, she is a poet and civil rights activist. Yes. Thought you were so smart. <laughs> yeah, you know that's just kind of what I do. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I brought you onto the show just to just to tell me about the back of the corner. <laughs> Yeah, just to just to flex my uh, history prowess. Yeah. All right, I guess how did we do this last time? We did three chap, three paragraphs each, and then alternated. I think, yeah, I think we've gotten more comfortable with doing that rather than uh, doing characters, really. <laughs> yeah, because um, I mean, the way this author does it, they always do twelve yeah. paragraphs, so it's consistent. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, man. Whatever you're ready. Hmm. <clears throat> I think we're out of sight now. With that, the cheddar yellow-haired female stopped running and turned around to the face of the blue-haired idol, who was taking deep breaths, visibly <laughs> visible exhausted from having to run in heels. She was used to dancing in them, but running? That wasn't a pleasant experience. Can confirm. Thank you so much, McNugget. Please let me know when I will be able to return the favor. You practically saved my life in there. Not really thinking about it, she grabbed the short female's hands, tightly grasping them with her own. Thank you. I can't say it enough. When, when she did notice, though, Borger had already started returning the tight grip. You're very welcome, my Zono. I've noticed that. At past events, you have been avoiding me a lot. I already asked your assistant about it, but I don't think she was being very honest with me. Uh, avoiding you? I don't know what you're talking about. She stuttered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she is a fucking pop idol. She's good at that. True. Yeah, it's her fucking skill set. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss. Yes. Her stuttering led to McNugget smiling even brighter. Please, you don't have to be embarrassed about it, really. I simply just want to know if I did something wrong, or are you maybe a little bit shy? Once again, the blue hair idol didn't know how to answer. You couldn't tell her that she was maybe catching feelings for her. What would she do if this the cheddar yellow hair female actually found out? Her life would be practically in ruin. McNugget, I... Would practically I, um, be ruined. It's very... Very interesting phrasing, personally. Yeah. I, I feel like I've heard people say that line. Hmm. 
Look, is it is some... It... Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Look, is it something personal? If so, never mind. I just don't want to force an answer out of you. She tried letting go of Sayaka's hand, but the ultimate pop sensation was still tightly clenching onto them. No, it's nothing personal, I swear. I don't have anything against you, if you think that. Then why have you been avoiding me? Are you comfortable with telling me? Her, uh, ketchup red? Yeah. <laughs> I, her ketchup red eyes made her want to tell the female everything about why she'd been acting so weird, but she just couldn't. Something was holding her back on the inside, though she didn't know what it was. Yes, you do! You're a lesbian! I'm <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, she needed an excuse, and she needed it fast. So, the first thing that came to her mind was pulling out a piece of paper and pen. Where she got it, I don't know. Yeah, that's about to ask. Am I in their pocket something? <laughs> I, I was, I was acting weird enough because I was acting weird because I wanted an autograph. Extending the items toward her, Sayaka couldn't believe what she was just saying. For a long moment, a silence sung in the room. Before the cheddar yellow-haired female took the two items and said, "Oh, you could have just said so," signing the paper. She handed it back to her. But now that I've given you an autograph, I want something as well. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What oh. could this be? This could be gay sex. I, 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 gotta I don't think it's that. I gotta stop. I'm oh. hopping off too hard. <laughs> oh, for really? no reason. Gulping. Sayaka prepared herself for the worst. What if she decides to blackmail me? Wait, <laughs> what would she even blackmail me with? With the autograph? <laughs> She's like over, like, overthinking this, and I, you know what, I empathize with that. <laughs> I'm starting to get too paranoid. It's not even funny anymore. It wasn't funny before either. But to put no, it nah, simply. No, no, this is extremely funny. Yeah, this the, is uh, fucking the, funny the, as shit. <laughs> the writer, the writer. He's, they're nodding towards us. They're nodding yeah. towards us. They, they like winked at us and they're like, this one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> I want your autograph too, silly. Smiling, the pop star pulled out a piece of paper, handing it to the ultimate pop sensation, who was baffled. What? What do you mean, what? Isn't it obvious I would want an autograph from, my, from our top artist of the year? You already have a pen, so... Nugget had noticed how nervous the blue hair idol was being. She figured the autograph was just an excuse. Then she didn't want to be uncomfortable, though. She decided to go along with it. When the female had also received the paper, both of them went back to the room, their hearts beating faster than they normally would. This is because they have a viral heart condition. <laughs> the right. one that Goku had in Dragon Ball Z. He had a heart condition? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I did not know that. I I gotta watch oh, yeah. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh, you've never seen Dragon Ball or Dragon mm. Ball Z? No. Nope. Okay, so imagine. Okay, so you you know how you know Frieza, right? I think so. Is it the purple yeah, yeah. alien? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so when Goku comes back to Earth after doing that, after dealing with that, mm -hmm. he come he comes back, right? But then. This guy from the future comes, and it's not Silver the Hedgehog. It's it's Trunks. It's Trunks. Okay. Vegeta's Vegeta's uh son, and he he says, Goku. In a few years from now, androids are going to come back, and you are going to die of a viral heart condition. But there's a vaccine from the future. Take this. This literally happens, by the way. This, Are you this serious? Actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this actually later. happens. This actually happens. I, it, it it's 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 honestly a very under talked about plot point. I think in Dragon Ball Z. I gotta find this later. I'm gonna find that clip. Yeah, because because I remember uh, when 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 Vegeta first goes Super Saiyan. I'm just Bergen right now, but when Vegeta like first goes Super Saiyan, he. Like, Goku is fighting the androids that are coming back, but he, I think he forgot to take 
the medicine, right? He forgot to take the medicine. And he's like, you know, just getting his ass beat. And Vegeta's like, oh, the only person that's gonna beat Kakarot is me. And so he like, you know, he comes in and plays the anti-hero. It's yeah. so fire. It's so fire. Right. But that's, that's enough DBZ. Yeah, adding it to my watch list. <laughs> <laughs> What's that piece of paper? Small female looked at Sayaka, who was slightly leaning down against the car's window. Eh, j just an autograph I got from someone. Tee <laughs> That didn't make her any less curious. So she asked, From who? Is it from another band? Shaking her head, the blue-haired idol closed her eyes. No, it's uh, just from one single person. The person I think I fell in love with. The vehicle came to an abrupt stop. The person in front of them slammed on their brakes, because they're a fucking moron. Since her assistant had let out an excited squeal, more like a loud scream, making the driver think that something bad had just happened back there. And also the guy in front of them pulled their brakes. Is everything alright back there? Give me that paper! The small female quickly reached over, trying to snatch the item away from her. No, this is absolutely private. Uh -oh. I mean... It's a funny way of phrasing it. Yeah. Her eyes narrowed slightly. Also, it's none of your business. <laughs> Those words didn't do anything at all. She simply kept trying and trying. Stop it already. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Both of them were still <laughs> arguing, ignoring the worry driver. You might think that one like like whip like whiplash their neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who couldn't see anything through the darkened glass window that separated them. His hand had already grasped his phone, ready to dial emergency services. Should anything serious be happening back there? After all, they were, they were his responsibility. Come on, who is it? I knew you would fall for someone, for one of those beautiful people, sooner or later. Her hand finally got a grip on the paper. When she turned it, so she was able to read it. She was more than just shocked. She didn't expect that. What? McNugget? <laughs> don't, she, don't you know that she's the daughter of Mc, Ronald McDonald? <laughs> Cannon. Yeah. Staring at the autograph with, with eyes bigger than plate, the female looked at the idol who was now getting flustered. Maybe? So what? You even teased me about it. Though I guess you didn't expect it to become reality. Did it expect it? I'm more shocked than when she first appeared on stage to be an act an announcer. First of all, that was super weird. She's a pop star. She should have been sitting in the crowd. And second of all, I can't even describe how extremely shocked I am. You literally have no idea. Sayaka burst into laughter. It was just too silly. Everything was too silly at the moment. She would have never expected herself to catch feelings for the cheddar yellow haired female either. She looks like a she looks like a burger. It just happened. Uh, she, she wasn't... Mmm. Yummy. <laughs> she wasn't sure when. Maybe it was at the award ceremony? Or did it happen earlier than that? Was it something that happened all along? Love at first sight. Who knows? Maybe it happened same... in a McDonald's drive-thru. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when she got a taste of her hazelnut iced coffee and... Her quarter pounder with cheese. Yeah. At the same time. Mmm. -hmm. Sweet and sour sauce. Eh, at the same time, uh, McNugget was getting ready to go home. Her, her thoughts kept going back to Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation. I was so surprised when she got the title. At the same time, though, it was really obvious. She's a great singer. I will also take my leave now. Thank you all for a wonderful evening. Waiting, a, waiting for a few seconds, she then follows by her assistant, a rather tall male. It's me. Oh, oh, it's you! It's you here. <laughs> Let's go. You didn't tell me you had a part in this script. <laughs> what can what can I say? You know, I, I go hard in the paint. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God we're finally going home. Can't stand be being there any longer. Those other assistants are horrible, I swear. <laughs> other assistants? Are you including Miss Mizono's assistant as well? 
didn't strike me as a bad person. Not at all, actually. Slightly curious, the cheddar yellow haired female turned her head to look at him, causing him to shrug. She kept this near herself the whole time. Maybe she's shy. Yeah, maybe that's true. Pointing out the autograph she had received from Saika, she smiled. Also, I think Miss Mizona is finally warming up to me. Isn't she such a kind soul? A blink, he shook his head. <laughs> nah, I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> she looked back at the handwriting. I do, though. Oh. Wow. I really do have a part in this story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is just you. Yeah. I, yeah, I kind of don't like her. That's just me, though. I prefer I prefer other idols like Takanashi Kiara of Hollow Live English. I prefer other idols like Hatsume Miku. <laughs> Once your peach is delivered... Have some fun with Miku. <laughs> I, my, my, my friend, I, I was talking earlier about going to a con. Uh, my friend, he dressed up as Hatsune Miku on the second day. And you have, you simply have no idea how many times we, or at least I, kept quoting the, uh, the Domino's Pizza Miku video. There's a Domino's Pizza video? I gotta look that up later. Oh. Oh my god. I'm, surpri I'm surprised I didn't show it to you back when I was in school. I need to know this. I, oh. I'm so in the loop of things. It, it, I, I, I will show you eventually. It, it's it's wonderful. Go. Let's see. Am, am I... Uh, yeah, yeah just, just just look up Domino's Pizza Miku right okay. now and, and save it for later. Alright. If it's anything like the Burger King ad that I like getting, I should like it. Oh no 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 no! It, 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 well, you'll 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 see what it is. You'll see what it is. It's it's just very jarring. Alrighty. All right, Wait. Well, I'll look that up. Uh, <laughs> you can go. Yeah, you can go. All right, all right. Wait, aren't you Burger McNuggets' assistant? A sudden voice came from behind the mail, making him look back. Yes, I am. Aren't you Sayaka Mizonos? She nodded, holding up a contract. Our company would love for the two to collaborate. I need to talk with Miss McNugget. Narrowing his eyes, mm -mm, he crossed his arms. Is that so? Well, McNugget doesn't like to collaborate with anyone. So why don't you take this? Taking the paper from her, he crumbled it into a small ball and leave? She's very busy, especially today. Don't just come here. Why, you? Before she could even say anything, Sayaka stepped up towards them. The male assistant hadn't even noticed her when talking to the other female. Ah, so you brought Miss Mizono as well? He gave a small sigh. I suppose I can't do anything about it then. Please, follow me, Miss Mizono. I kind of don't even know what I read there. Me either. Well, I can't believe they rejected Psyche of my zone of the ultimate pop sensation. They're like, get your I, shit and I get know. out of here. <laughs> they, 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 they simply think that they are better than them. Wow. Yeah. I can't believe they would do this. That's Such amazing. haters. Yeah. <laughs> Almost too excited for her own good. Blue haired idol followed him. Hoping Nugget will say yes. The idea had popped up in her head a few days ago. Company and her assistant were ecstatic about her idea. It would just be Saika and Burgor. Not even her band would be there. So why are you suddenly here to, to co collaborate? If you don't mind me asking, that is. He looked back at her, looking extremely suspicious of her. You're not trying to ruin her career, right? I won't let that happen if you're planning on doing that. I widened her eyes. I knew she was he was protective over McNugget, but not like this. He's acting like I'm some sort of criminal. <laughs> Shaking her head, she tried not to let her shock show. I would never do that. I actually adore her quite a bit. You only received a small nod. I see. Don't let me catch you sabotaging her, though. The ultimate pop sensation didn't understand why he was so suspicious of her. I mean, I've got a good reason. Hey, why is he acting like this? She whispered to her own assistant. I don't know, but he mentioned that she doesn't like to collaborate with anyone. 
Right, I heard that. Sayaka closed her eyes for just a few seconds. Didn't one of my girls mention that McNugget had some problems in the early stages of her career? Is he acting weird because of that? It would make sense, but... Thoughts were cut off when the mail opened the door to McNugget's dressing room. Borger, there's some guests here for you. Send them in. Tell them I don't have much time, though. Or do they already hear me? He didn't answer, only ushering the two females in, closing the door behind them. Oh boy. A plot? It was more than just clear that the cheddar, yellow-haired female was surprised to see them. Oh my, I didn't expect you to come visit me, Miss Maizona. Is there something I can help you with? Her ketchup red eyes looked over the smaller woman. Or does your assistant need me? We both need you, actually. Do you have some time for us? We would like to make a request which covers a contract between the two of us, or our companies, however however you want to see it. Rebecca's voice was hopeful. She won't say yes, considering how weird her assistant acted. Small female thought, quietly hopping. A collaboration, am I right? Smiling, the cheddar haired the ch the cheddar yellow haired female stepped a bit closer, catching the idol off guard. Yes, that's right. How did you... Burger held up the paper ball. I accept. That's fast. Wow. The, the, uh... The collaboration arc has swiftly come to an end. How? What? Sayaka was shocked to say the least. She couldn't believe it. Burger McNugget had actually agreed to collaborate with someone. And it only took the ultimate pop sensation to do so. There would soon be reports in the celebrity magazine. She was sure of it. How did you know I wanted what that uh, How did you know that what I wanted to ask you? Her assistant finally spoke up, knowing Sayaka would be a little stunned a while longer. Oh, that's quite simple actually. The cheddar yellow haired female smiled, beginning to unfold and straighten the document that they had brought with them. My assistant always reacts hostile towards such contracts. He knows normally I won't collaborate with him. And after receiving some, let's say, very bad contracts, this reaction became normal to him. I apologize if he felt offended by his actions. Words actually made sense, no matter how weird it was. <laughs> Not that weird. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Don't worry about us, though. Yes, we were caught off guard, but that was it. Dragging the small female pushed Saika forward a little. I'll leave it to you two to discuss any details. After all, you'll be the ones performing on stage together. Nodding, Warger <laughs> watched her leave before turning towards Sayaka. Miss Faizono, I'm looking forward to performing together. The blue haired female looked around the room. Me too. Actually, I do feel quite bad about my girls not collaborating too, but I just wandered off some photos of a younger burger. <laughs> it's like it's, I this was this, you as a patty slider I was just thinking that like it's a baby photo <laughs> of like you know how you take a baby and wrap it in like a blanket so it's heads popping out it's like one of those yeah. but you look at it and it's just like a burger <laughs> Aw, look at that little beef patty and and cheese on a, on a <laughs> bun this was before you grew your lettuce and got your ketchup on as well you know this is before for the onions and the pickles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't Where have to. Oh, I got it. I, you don't have to feel bad. One of her hands grabs Saika, making both of them blush slightly. I don't have to feel bad. Why not? We're we're one group. I shouldn't have to do this alone. Giving the idol's hand a soft squeeze, the cheddar yellow-haired female sighed. see <clears throat> I know but that doesn't mean you're connected to everything you do it's quite normal for you each to have different groups of fans too it's quite a frequent thing in the world of <sighs> this is not exclusive to k-pop <laughs> this is not exclusive to k-pop <laughs> it's a frequent thing in the world of k-pop and j-pop I'm sure you've already noticed that, so please, 
Only focus on them, on me, not them. The words made the color of the ultimate pop sensation's cheek darken. Focusing only on you, you say? I... Gulping down a giant lump of nervousness that had been sitting in her throat, Sayaka gave a small nod. I, I will try my best. You will have nothing to worry about. The smile that came from Borger made her knees grow weak. I knew I was falling for McNugget, but not like this. I have never felt like this in anyone's presence. She took a small, a deep breath, noticing the pop star's scented perfume. Ah, uh, McDonald's. Uh, ah, yeah. McDonald's. It smells scented like pickles. Perfume. It smells like pickles. Yes. She smells so good. <laughs> Save. I don't know how to describe it. Wow. It's Imagine every... the smell. Yeah. I don't think I could wear perfume that's smells like pickle. <laughs> <laughs> well, good on her, I guess. I think, I think they should stop. They should stop wearing perfume. I think women should stop wearing perfume. I mean, I like mine. It, I have like a strawberry pound cake. Because I really okay, love the that scent. Does, that does smell. That probably does smell very nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll shut my mouth for now. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is everything all right, Miss Mizona? Do you need something to drink, or should I get your assistant to take care of you? Morgan's voice sounded worried, showing genuine concern for the blue type female, who only shook her head. No, it's fine. Are you sure? If you need anything, please let me know immediately. I would hate for you to be uncomfortable. It was silent for a few moments. Of course, Sayaka decided to ask a question she would never ask a female before. McNugget, would it be okay for you to... for me to hug you? Hug me? For once, a cheddar, yellow-haired female seemed caught, got up, caught off guard. For a few seconds, she smiled, though. Of course. Come here, Miss Mizona. Sayaka wasted no time in walking into Borger's open arms. It's so warm. It feels so comfortable and nice. This is how it feels inside the deep fryer. <laughs> this is what the fries feel like. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Uh, also, like, it would be, I would think it's normal for idols to hug each other. They, they do this, they do this often, they do this often. Yeah. You shouldn't feel you should feel bad, Sayaka. What what are what are you doing? Yeah. Are you truly the ultimate pop sensation? You yeah. don't know how you don't yeah. know how this shit works. You still gotta ask consent. You can't just fuck someone out of nowhere. No no no. This this is this is where this is where I differ. This is where I I would I see an idol, I'm tackling them. I'm tackling. <laughs> it seems like you and McNugget grew closer. A small female commented, nudging Sayaka's arm. G grew closer? I don't know what you mean. Immediately, the hug from the other day appeared in her. It was true and evident. Ever since that moment, they had grown much closer. Oh, please. Everyone knows about your newfound friendship. Yeah, friendship. friendship. <laughs> if, you, if you put some effort into it, it could even become a romantic relationship. Ooh. She could making the ultimate pop sensation go beet red. <laughs> are you kidding me? What are you talking about? You're gaslighting again. I love Don't gaslighting. Don't say things like that or I will fire you. Threatening. Wow. Damn. Alright, she is a pop star. <laughs> <laughs> the only reaction she received was a small chuckle. Unfortunately, the only thing you can do is complain about me to the company. Also, I don't think your group members would want me gone, too. Her words made the blue-haired idol roll her eyes. I can't she shut up. Aw, oh, someone doesn't like having a crush on Burger McNugget. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, growing agitated, Sayaka's eyes wandered to her assistant's face again. What do you want to know? Can't you form a whole question? What am I supposed to answer to something like, so? Noticing how angry the idol was getting, the rather ch why the fuck did call her off being chubby? The chubby girl decided to be more careful with her words. <laughs> what will you choose to do first? Will you bake with 
McNuggets? Yo. I want a baking show. I want to do baking. Yeah, dude. Let's see what it's like inside that McDonald's. Yeah, that's where they make the apple fritters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to I wanna go out and pick the apples that go in, in the apple fritters. That's what I want to do. Yeah. This this will this will definitely this will definitely be featured inside of a McDonald's store, <laughs> uh, a location, and it, it's, surely surely some some young child will will be able to eat this, and I will feel proud. I will feel proud. So somebody will somebody will eat my my creation. They could have done it without me. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, McDonald's, for giving me this opportunity. Yeah, I hope that's we with enough promotion we get sponsored by McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Wattpad Book Club sponsored by a McDonald's. Dude, that would be crazy to get a sponsorship on a Wattpad video, especially the ones that are like I have to age restrict. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is this is what I deserve for. Uh, Hoping you make all those apple fritters, McDonald's. Come on. <laughs> That's what other famous and cute girl groups did just recently. Or do you want to do something that result revolves around exposing each other's deepest secret? Saka only sighed, turning her head away. You don't want to do that to Sayaka. Yeah. Oh, I see. If you aren't interested in these activities, how about you just spend a day together? It would be like my daily routine, but with two different idols at the same time. Both fan groups will be blown away. They would probably start shipping you two as well. Is that what you want? <laughs> it's they, they are nodding towards not me, but everyone else who's reading this. Yeah, the author's like, I got you guys. <laughs> what I want is to si <clears throat> sorry. What I want is to simply sing with her. That's what a collaboration is for, am I right? To merge both people's talents together? To create something new and unique? You only want me to copy some other groups. Groups I'm not even in contact with. That's stealing. Oh, that's just... This is petty. This is that's petty. That's copyright infringement. <laughs> I, I can't do something that perfectly normal human beings do. Uh, but with other famous idols? That's stealing. That's... that's you're the one who's morally reprehensible. Damn you, assistant. At a loss for words, a small female stayed quiet, not even attempting to make another suggestion. She had never seen Sakamoy Zono this angry. Was it because of McNugget? Thinking about it, she noticed that Borger McNugget also never tried to copy another group or artist. That evening, Sayaka found herself in front of the apartment building that McNugget was supposedly, allegedly, living in. She needed someone to talk to. Previously, the blue-haired female idol had messaged the pop star asking for an address, and somehow, without even asking it, McNugget sent it to her. Wow. Imagine. Mm -hmm. Riz. Yeah. Un un unknowingly rizzing. <laughs> an un unmatched Riz. Yeah. Since I became closer to her, I stopped doing what all the girls wanted to do. Copying the trends of this business. Maybe if I do what do it like McNugget, I would find myself enjoying collaborations more. Stepping to the elevator, yawning. It was quite late already. It's 9.30 p.m. Last apartment. Well, it's quite high up. The door's closed, so the elevator's starting to moving. With every new floor that she reached, Saik got more nervous. Even though she gave me her address, who knows who shows up this late? I'd probably be upset. I bet she didn't even think I would show up. The door's finally opening again. Burger was waiting in the doorstep. Nugget, how did you know I was going? Sayaka was confused, but then blushed in embarrassment when she received the answer. I've what been you... waiting for you. Yeah, I, I sensed <laughs> it with my psychic powers. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? You rang the bell to get in, Miss Mizona. Oh, did you, like, forget that she did that? <laughs> He's so womp, womp. womp, womp. I'm sorry for suddenly barging in like this. You... You rung the doorbell! Do you have anything important to do? The blue-haired idol hesitantly asked, stepping into the giant apartment. Oh, don't worry about it, Miss Mizono. Borger only gave a gentle smile in response, closing the door behind them. 
Is something amiss? Yes, actually. You and you are probably the only person I can talk to about it with. Her honesty made the cheddar-haired female smile a little bit. At the same time, though, she wondered what could possibly be that important or terrible. Did someone try to injure her? Or worse? Well, for our collaboration, my company and my manager wanted us to copy some of the newest trends to entertain our fans. Saka wasn't sure if she wanted to see Borger's expression at the moment, but kept talking nonetheless. Of course, I told them I wouldn't want to do that. The other female was quite shocked, to say the least. She didn't expect the ultimate pop sensation to immediately tell her what the deal was. After all, her and her idol only recently became close. I see. Her voice seemed less warm. Why did you tell them that? Uh huh? Scratching her cheek, Saika didn't know how to answer the question. If she did, she would have to tell her that she knew about her dislike of copycats. I... But if I don't tell her, she's gonna find out on her own. That would be even worse, right? I think so. <laughs> um, to be honest, I don't know... I, I know that you never even attempted to copy any trends. It's surprising to me. Because you're almost as famous as me. But I'm also not surprised at the same time, considering your personality and how you handle things. It was silent for a few moments. So, slowly, the cheddar yellow haired star raised her head to look at the female. You declined such big opportunities to get even more famous just because you knew I didn't like copycats? I didn't know you would even take me into account when making that decision for us. What was she supposed to do? Sayaka was slightly hurt by her. Of course she would take her into account. Why wouldn't she? Oh, right. The blue-haired idol looked to the side, realizing that she hadn't always been nice to McNugget. In the past, she had avoided her like she was some kind of illness. I'm sorry, I, I know we didn't start on good terms. Actually, you tried to get on good terms, but I acted like a total f tightly holding on to the fabric of her skirt. The f ultimate pop sensation gave a deep bow to McNugget. This is my official apology. Go menasai. <laughs> Talked about what happened. The pop star looked around the room. Is this one of those videos where someone is recording us to see my reaction? <laughs> of course it is. It isn't. We're in my own apartment. Mostly face palming, she tried to keep her cool as she looked back at Saika. I want to apologize to you, Burger McNugget. Back then I was jealous of you, which led me to hate you and avoid you. Only after receiving my title I realized that you worked even harder than me, considering you worked your way to the top. Sorry. Smiling softly, the cheddar yellow haired female straightened the idol again. I appreciate you telling me the truth. After all, after all this time of knowing each other, pulling Saika in her arm, she closed her eyes. You don't have to continue apologizing. I accept your apology. I know you're a good person. It's chapter, twice. chapter 14 of 18. Yay! So that means we are 5, is that? Uh, uh 1, 2, oh, nine, three, 19. 4, 5, 6. We have 6 more to go. Speed run! So this, means, <laughs> this means that the plot is really going to start kicking in. Yeah! It had been a long night. Following Saka's apology, the two of them were able to talk about the problems that they had, including the one with their collaboration. The blue-haired female was relieved. She had finally had someone to talk to. Someone that would listen to her, because she understood. It's getting real late, Miss Myzone. Something about the way she addressed... Ad got addressed bothered her. Why are you still calling me by my last name, McNugget? I think we've talked enough with each other to use our first names. The cheddar yellow-haired female could only laugh a little. Because you're still using my last name as well. So not calling me Borger from now on. She gave a smile, noticing the small blush that crawled onto Saka's face. Eh, uh, alright, Borger. But you'll have to call me Saka then, otherwise it's unfair. 
All right, then, Sayaka. Have I ever told you how beautiful your name is? Oh my god, they're flirting! <laughs> the Let's blush. Go. The blush on the blue hair idol's feet darkened. No, I didn't think you have yet. Shaking her head, she moved her eyes away from the female, hiding her face in her hands. Obviously embarrassed. The small laugh that came from Burger didn't make anything better either. She felt like hiding under her covers, like a lovesick teenager. I mean, I, am, I still am a teenager, but no, wait, I'm just an adult getting accepted into school later than everyone else. <laughs> I thought told you. I told you the plot was coming. The plot? Thickens. Her thoughts weren't, weren't dying down, only adding more anxiety to her already confusing feelings. What if I look childish and dumb right now? Gulping, her eyes wandered towards the cheddar yellow haired female again, who was now turning on the TV, probably to make the situation less uncomfortable. Are you okay, Sayaka? Uh, of course I am. Why would I be okay? <laughs> her voice got a more quiet when Borger decided to come closer to her. I don't know, it's just. Her ebony hand laid itself on Sayaka's cheek. <gasps> Your face is getting so red. Oh my, could you be flustered? I, I... She wasn't sure what the answer she should give was. Maybe just a little. But I swear I'm not doing it on purpose. Her face immediately turned even darker. How could I do it on purpose? How could I embarrass myself like this? She squeezed her eyes shut. Aw, oh, please don't be flustered, Borgers. Borger's tone made her heart fl I've already calmed down again, Borger. The ultimate pop sensation tried to back away a little, just to help with her embarrassment. No, you haven't. Was the only answer she received. Trapped between the sofa and the pop star. Mm -hmm. You are right. I haven't. You're not making it a... Wait, hold on. I'm not uh, reading your part. You're taking my script. <laughs> I'm taking your script. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I haven't. You're you're not making it any easier though. Daka wanted to appear into thin air, not because she didn't enjoy the moment. She really did, but because of how pathetic she must have looked. Daka, could it be that you have a small crush on me? Her heart seemed to stop. <laughs> what did she just say? Small. I... Yeah, more like big. <laughs> <laughs> I. Her voice was stuck in her back, the back of her throat, not willing to form any words. I, stuttering, a small word over and over again. She couldn't do much except look at the female in front of her and nod. Saka gathered all the courage and nodded. It was e when, when even Burger's cheeks became red. They didn't become as red as her own, but they. Did wait, but hold on, <laughs> I'm having a stroke. <laughs> but they did show a pretty color of light red. That's good. I also have feelings for you, my dear Sayaka. Wow, requited love. I've never felt this way. <laughs> <laughs> you have feelings for me? I mean, that's not exactly true, but <clears throat> you, you, you have feelings for me? Sayaka widened her eyes when Borger gently grabbed her face. Wasn't it obvious, my dear? I thought I made it seem made it seem like it. A quiet laugh slipped, making the blue-haired idol blush even more. Y you didn't do a good job at that. I ah uh, I I know that too now. How about testing my skills when it kisses? Sayaka didn't know why she had reacted like that, but she immediately shed, causing the cheddar yellow hair to be back. A actually, I have to go now. Now? Borger was shocked. It's almost 4 It's 4 a.m.? I guess. You could, stay, you could stay in my guest room. Obviously, she was about the pop sensation, the ultimate pop sensation. Said girl didn't want to listen to her, quickly putting on her jacket and shoes. No, it's fine, I really should go- <laughs> Damn. Saka, no one would- No one should go out this late, trying to calm down. Borger grabbed her hands. Sorry if I made you uncomfortable, but please don't- 
get yourself in danger because of that. I can call you a taxi. The blue hair idol felt bad for treating her like that. No, I'll just call my manager, don't worry. With that, she rushed out of the apartment, leaving a hurt, shocked, and anxious pop star behind. He even called her a, a, called her a few times. Did he even make me uncomfortable? Saka thought as soon as she stepped into the cold. Placing her hands on her knees, she took a deep breath, trying to, not to cry. But just nervous. And made her feel bad and anxious over something like that. Shaking, she called her manager, trying to, letting her know that she needed to be picked up, even saying it was urgent. Let's see. While waiting, she glanced up to the apartment that a cheddar yellow haired female was living. The lights had already been turned off, making the building fall into darkness. There you are, she suddenly heard a feminine voice coming out of sight of her. You had me so worried. I'm sorry. The ultimate pop sensation began to tear up, turning her head away. Oh, Sayaka, is everything all right? Is it because of the collaboration deal? If you're really that sad about it, we can... She got cut off by an angry Sayaka. Why can't you just shut up? The manager grew silent. Whether it was from surprise or because it hurt her feelings, Saka couldn't have cared less. You see me crying in the streets and needing someone to pick me up, yet you immediately shoved the collaboration to my face again. Her voice broke while in her anger. I mean, she's just trying to help. Yeah. Silly. My donut, I something was obviously wrong, considering that she had used her last name. No, I don't want to hear it. Just because I'm an entertainer doesn't mean I'm only here for everyone else's entertainment. I have feelings too, and you just hurt them. Let me tell you that. Before she can even try to respond, the blue hair idol grabbed onto the fabric of her jacket, rushing back into the building and into the elevator. I don't care if she doesn't want me there anymore. I need to apologize to Burger. Better than driving home with my manager. She only had a knock once. Door immediately swung open, revealing a tired looking pop star whose face immediately lit up when she saw Sayaka. Burger, before you say anything, I'm stuck. Cheddar yellow haired female quietly hugged her, not letting her finish her sentence. It's okay. What is it? Find out next time. On Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> when Sayaka woke up, she immediately spotted. Get her yellow way. Laying next to Wait. What happened yesterday? Oh. She thought for a few moments, before remembering the past events again. Right. She accepted my apology. And... Yeah. What happened then? A little dumbfounded, she slowly sat up. Oh, she's still sleeping. Carefully, she lifted the covers, not wanting to wake the pop star up. Hmm? Saka hummed, quietly getting out of the bed, making her way to the living room. If she kept offering me the guest room, why were we sleeping together in her bedroom? Together. <clears throat> As she sat on the couch, she noticed that the TV was still on, but put on mute. That's weird. The ultimate pop sensation turned the device's sound, nodding in approval. That's better. Why was it muted, though? Oh, now I remember. Sighing, she closed her eyes for just a second. This is a real Jimmy New. Brain blast! <laughs> <laughs> promise oh I, my god. I promise I feel comfortable around you, Burger. I feel reassured the pop star, grabbing her hand. Two of them sat on the couch. That's a relief. I was really worried. Putting the still burning TV on you, she turned back towards the blue haired idol. But, let's talk now. When thinking back to what they talked about, I felt a shiver run up her spine. They were in a private relationship now. It was also the reason for them sleeping in the same bed, not wanting to stay alone that night. She had, uh, she had asked the cheddar yellow haired female to share a bed with her. This is so embarrassing. I feel like a lovesick kid, she mumbled, burying her, head, her face in her head. Her face is in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> Your face. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you feel that way, Sayaka. 
sudden voice made her jump, then blushed when she saw who it belonged to. Hey, good morning! <laughs> they, they, they couldn't let us read this part? Like, whatever happened? No. We just skipped, we just skipped, okay, okay. They didn't know how to write that situation, I guess. Yeah, it's suspense. Good, good morning, my dear. Her voice was as beautiful as always, leading, leading to the blue-haired idol, flushing even more. Borger walked towards her with a gentle smile on her face. I was quite surprised when that you weren't next to you. Cup, didn't think you'd be a morning person. Oh, I'm not. Cupping the back of her head so I could look to the side. I just happened to wake up before you. No big deal. It was obvious that she tried to play it off, not wanting them to discuss the topic much more. I'm also almost a complete adult. Why am I so flustered about sleeping in the same bed as her? I shouldn't act too flustered. Maybe I will annoy her with it. While she kept imagining the worst scenarios in her head, Borger slowly sat next to her, still smiling. I see. Well, I'm in between. So maybe we will wake up at the same time one morning. Her words made the blue hair idol imagine the scene. Opening her eyes, immediately seeing the beautiful ketchup red eyes of Burger. Both of them smiling at each other. Maybe we could share a good morning kiss as well? No, surely that's too much. I bet that would be... But I bet it would be really romantic. Nodding, Sayaka gathered all her courage to lean over and plant a sun kiss on the cheddar yellow haired female's cheek. Alright, I bet that would be a, a being really nice. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I will kiss you now, my, my dear Sayaka. <laughs> Burger leaned closer, moving slowly to give the idol a chance to pull away. But when their lips met, both of them didn't waste a single thought of pulling away. They got even closer to each other, enjoying the romantic moment. What's gonna happen in these three chapters? Are, are you sure? People will notice immediately. No, they won't. Thankfully, Sayaka was able to sort out her issues with her. Though, the small female was already getting on her nerves again. If our matching dresses are a problem, would rather have me show up in jeans and a hoodie? Yes, that's right. Borger and Sayaka had decided to show everyone their newfound love for each other. Well, in that case, you just proved me wrong. Well, maybe it wouldn't immediately be get recognized as love. But people would definitely sense some affection between the two. No, that's not it. I just, you know, maybe we should call it a stylist? Getting rather annoyed, the blue-haired idol took one last glance at herself. March. It was time to make everyone's jaws drop, and the reactions she received were better than expected. Stepping into the bright room, many people's eyes immediately set on aim. Wow. Is my Zona wearing the exact same dress as McNugget? No, their dresses are slightly different colors. Didn't they be matching with your fellow band members? For the first few minutes, the room was shocked. They even started thinking that she copied the cheddar yellow haired female. It wasn't until someone grabbed Sayaka's hand, beginning to lead her down the stairs in front of them. You look lovely, Sayaka. Her ketchup red eyes beamed with affection and love as she spoke. Your idea of matching dresses is perfect. I have never felt so special at such an event. Her words cheered up the girl up again, making her heartbeat speed up. Thanks for the kind words, Borger, but is it alright for us to be holding hands like this? Looking down at their intertwined fingers, a small look of worry crossed over her face. I mean... Of course it's alright. Nobody's thinking that we're lovers. After all, they think that it could be the end of our careers. How could we even dare thinking of about getting for a partner for life. They both giggled a little. It was true. Everyone thought they were just close friends now. You were right. Wow. You always have the right words to bring my mood back up. They reached the end of the stairs, immediately getting a lot of attention from paparazzi. My Zono? Were, were the matching dresses of you and 
McNugget plan. Is there any backstory to that? Immediately, Borger, I mean, <clears throat> Borger pushed the microphone out of Sackus, giving the cameraman a slight glare. Please, if you want to question us, at least let us have some time to even think about the answer, instead of showing your microphone into- Thank you, Sayaka gasped. Wow. Wow, she's just like me. They say <laughs> wow. Well, the reporter needed some time to recover from getting put into place, and then jumped on to the next question. Who of you two had the idea of doing this? But in sense, when, when have you gotten so close? Are you childhood friends? Her last question made Sack a high smile. <laughs> oh, we've known each other for a long time, but we aren't friends up until recently. We just discovered that we had the same interests and goals. As to your first question, it was actually my idea to do it. Saika confidently said, smiling at the woman as sweetly as she could. I see. Thank you for your comment. Turning back to the camera, she didn't notice that two of them were didn't notice two of them were leaving. Paparazzi are gonna be the most annoying thing to exist, don't you agree? Burger asked, receiving a nod. Oh definitely. But I wouldn't mind doing more interviews with you. <laughs> so I, I think it's very, very funny how universally reviled the paparazzi and like me like you know ground media coverage technically not, not technically uh mm -hmm. just just are they like most people's perception of the paparazzi fucking <laughs> paparazzi suck man they, they they really do it it reminds me of that fucking video of the uh is it toby Maguire? Yeah. No, no, it's 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 uh it's Kanye West. Oh, okay. You know when when they're out on his like lawn at like four in the morning. Oh. And you're like, hey, good morning, Kanye. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> He's like just go going on against him. Like, imagine having people at your house at four a.m. because some crazy shit happened. Yeah. I guess I guess it was Kim K at the time. You know, fuck, whatever. He's like, you are stand, you are standing outside my house. Would you want me standing outside your house? If and my, my reaction, <laughs> yes, Kanye, that would be actually pretty cool. I'd let you. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, I, it's just, it's, I, I just think it's funny. Paparazzi yeah. mentioned, I'm just like, God, I do hate the paparazzi too. Mm -hmm. The rising stars are. <clears throat> Hold on. The rising stars are McNugget and my Zono hiding something? Giggling, blue-haired idol read the. These two have been the hot topic of the week, but are they as really innocent? Things, where the dress is really friendship. I don't find, I don't find any of this funny. Say, so the small female ripped the paper. I knew your idea of matching clothes. You just had to do it. I thought McNugget would be more responsible. Sighing, the ultimate pop sensation. Are you done with your rambling? Maybe it was a little. So what? Stood up. If you are done, please let me go to the stylist. Girls, girls and I need. She's starting to get on my. Nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Her eyes widen. Why did she just say that? No. What did she just try? Wait. Wait, hold on. You you you, you skipped a uh, skipped a paragraph. Wait, I did. I thought you read that. Yeah. No. Ah oh, shit. Wait, hold on. Did yeah, I skip you're a right. Paragraph? No, I just can't read. Oh. All right. It's all good. It's all good. No, I'm most definitely not done. I've been letting you do so much nonsense. I'm sorry. I think you've been too relaxed when it comes to rules. Punching your fists together, the blue hair idol looked at her manager. Also, I think the collaboration should be cancelled. Her eyes Braddy widened. Assistant. Braddy assistant needs correction. Yeah, just slap her. Get her fired. <laughs> what did she just say? No. Did she just... Was trying to forbid her? Do you really think the company would allow that? If you cancel this collaboration, I won't collaborate with anyone else in the future. And I'm sure the girls won't be happy either. With that, she shoved her to the side. Obviously more than just angry. Maybe it was because she wouldn't be able to see Burger as much. And if the collaboration would be cancelled, 
Maybe it was because she didn't like the tone she was using with her. After all, she was a child. Sayaka Maizono, I'm doing this for your career as an idol. Your fans don't want you to have a romantic partner. Please stop rebelling already. But said idol was already gone. Walking to the recording room. Fellow waiting for her. There you are. Sorry for taking so long. Mood immediately began to lighten. Those females are wrong. Especially in times like It's alright. We should get started now. Fans don't like delays and you know that. Waving close. Waving. Yeah, our fans our fans don't like a lot of things to I can't have a partner. I can't be late. I can't do this or that. Oh man. Putting on a really sweet smile, she gave the camera a cheerful greeting. Hello to everyone watching the Yo yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello to everyone watching. <laughs> <laughs> Sub beast mode. She was glad when the recording was finally done, she was able to leave the building for a bit. At first, the blue-haired idol wanted to call her secret girlfriend, but then saw a few paparazzi in the distance. If she said something bad in their presence, they would leak everything to the public. <laughs> hmm, what should I do? Should I grab something to eat? I'm not dressed in a way that would draw attention. That I could mumble to herself before getting to pull out. Pull on a blue medical mask to hide her identity and protect herself from cameras. Right when she was about to leave, someone pulled her down, pulled down the mask, gently kissing her lips. I thought you looked lovely. <laughs> also, the cameras aren't pointed at us. Throwing herself into Burger's arms, that I could let out a sigh of content. The perfect way to recharge her mental battery. Oh, last chapter! Yep. It is. We are in the home stretch. I'm, I'm sad. This is I the know. I love the comments on the last chapter saying, uh... Well, there was comments? Why, Yen, please marry me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants a girl like Burger McNugget in their life. Yeah, I want a burger and a McNugget. Right now, yeah. after this call, <laughs> the, whole, <laughs> the whole hall seemed much brighter as soon as the two females stepped on the beach. Everyone was amazed by how well it had synced they weren't the only ones that felt impressed, though. The managers were quite impressed as well. I have never seen such. Her energy is much brighter. I'm sure the fans are able to feel it too. Word surprised a short female next to her. Are you serious? I'm sure it doesn't make that much difference, though. No. Yes, it does. You might not care about my Zono's feelings at Words hit her hard. Considering the fight they had a while. But I know Borger is having the time of her life right now. Can't you hear how much louder her voice is? That's not just the microphone. Nodding slowly, she directed her gaze back to the over to the two pop stars, which, when looking closer, threw smiles at each other every now and, and then. The public would go crazy if the relationship would be revealed. But they like but they like them just the way that but but they like them just fine as really close friends. So I can read. <laughs> you can read. Yay! Wow. I can read on what Peppa Club. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we'll be able to make their relationship public? I advise Sayaka to not wear some those masking dresses since they already draw so much attention to them. But now they're performing like that. I'm worried that the group careers will be over if it leaks to the fans. Burger's manager looked quite annoyed by what she said. Don't you see how perfect they're performing together? Even if it, it gets made public, their fan base will probably join forces. If you want to des describe it like that, stop making them hide from their, their supporters. After that, she didn't say anything in return. Watching said perfect performance. Well, hold on, let me just make sure. Something. Hold up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Did you like lose noise your spot? In the background. Uh, yeah, and it's just noise in the background. Uh oh. <laughs> After that, she didn't say anything in return. Watching said perfect performance. Well, he was most definitely right. Their popularity would probably rise after. 
But was that really safe? Crazy fans always existed. No. Stop worrying. At least for now, they're really good to- The cheddar yellow-haired female wasn't able to stop smiling. After many years of worrying about any kind of- She finally found her being able to avoid one of them. Especially since she was supporting- <clears throat> Especially since she was performing with someone she loved. Someone that she could trust. And someone that knew the possible danger. As they sang, she noticed how much more hyped the fans I'm glad that they're enjoying voices together. I know that I do it. That her thoughts were cut off. She saw her lover floorboard beginning to fall backward. Sayaka! Oh wow. One, one last final bit of Oh my god, this is gonna have- they're gonna be all romantic and then- Oh my god! Uh-oh. The crowd immediately stopped cheering, watching the pure shock when the cheddar yellow-haired female dropped her microphone rushing towards the aisle as fast as she could. Her mind was lifted with worry and anger. Anger towards the person that failed to make the stage safe enough for them to perform. Before Saika's head hit the floor, Gorga's warm arm- Burger's arm wrapped around her waist, pulling her back and towards and into her arms. Not even caring about the audience, the cheddar yellow-haired female hugged her as tightly as she could. I was so worried that you would get hurt. Saika couldn't hold back, giving her lover a gentle kiss on the lips, making the eyes explode with excited cheering. No one had expected it, but everyone was happy about this new thing the fangirl about. Now people knew about the hottest and newest celebrity couple, Daika Mizona and Burger McNugget. <laughs> that yeah. ends. Yay! <laughs> I don't know if the noise suppression is not is working for the clapping, but... Oh, uh, I think it, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> that means it's working. <laughs> that means it's working. Yay! I can, I can give a standing ovation to my... my two new Oshis. And supporting their relationship. Let's cool. Go. Uh, this was a really good book. I liked it. Yeah, it was pretty fun. It was yeah. fun to read. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, the uh, the same person up, up that there. made that Mondo one. Yeah, I was gonna say it's up there with the Mondo one. Yeah, they do. They do some pretty, pretty nice uh, stories. If they're, if if not for, uh, their their wording sometimes and misspelling and. Oh, uh, there's stuff. It's, it's 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 fun. It's good fun. Yeah. When was this made? Wow, last year. Uh, not last year. Uh, well, back like in 2022. Late, late, late 22. Yeah, late 22. All right. Very cool. Uh, I, I, well, for being a dang and rapper story, they did they did some stuff working around Sayaka's character, which I can appreciate because she dies in the first chapter. So. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I think it's kind of it's probably easier to do uh, when you have less stuff that is basically canon to work with. Then yeah. again, she also does have... She does get her moments. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think mean, they did a good job with the Byakuya Togami one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was like the very first one I think we read together. Yeah. <laughs> what an experience. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, here I am, still still joining for these uh, crazy fan fictions that I, I probably would not have read on my own. <laughs> Yay! I'm making you suffer. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I love suffering. Yeah. I fucking love suffering. Alrighty, well, I guess that's gonna do it. I don't know what book we'll pick up next time, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> we will. We will figure it out. We will figure it out a lot, a lot more. Maybe, maybe next time we'll do. Uh, we'll branch out like we did with uh, AOT. And, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I'll find. I'll find something that I'm like. Hmm. Yes. Today we're going to be reading story about uh, who knows it might it could be even blue archive yeah uh, this will make me even more of a secondary i'm sure yeah. but uh well let's do it let's do it yeah be sure to check the uh what is it check the playlist for all the videos we got like 94 at this rate also check like the most recent wapet book club and whatnot i i don't know what's been uploaded up to this point since this will be uploaded in like february but the the Gloria and Marty one came out. If you want to go check that one out, but 
Um, also, thank you for joining. I really appreciate that. Of course, of course. Yeah. Always fun. But anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Philip, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>